Hello, it's another weaving based update this week. I've done nothing on the cross stitch and I've done a little tiny bit of crochet on my magic ball blanket, but not enough to be worth holding up to show you. So it's all weaving. Here's what's been going on with my loom. Last week I had this on the loom. It is not only off the loom, it is also wet finished. And that is my very dent head all project with the fluffy rainbow yarn and some plain merino, plain white merino. And there's been different levels of shrinkage in the yarns, which I expected. So it's a little bit crinkly. It's a little bit, um, it's not flat, but I'm okay with that. It might go flat, flatter when I press it, because I haven't pressed it yet. But for the time being, I'm really happy with it. I really like how it came out. It's not as long as it could have been. Well, actually, this is as long as it could have been, because I, I only had a little bit of this yarn. So it's a shorter scarf with some sewing thread attached to it. So that's a bonus. Get rid of that. And in the wet finish, the rainbow yarn did actually fluff up quite nicely, which I'm excited about because I'm easily excited. So that is off the loom. It is finished. It just needs a press and it's ready to go. And I have woven a whole other thing. So let me get that. It's hanging on the tripod. So everything's going to go a bit shaky. Bear with me. I always hang stuff on this tripod and I probably should just get like a table or something. Anyway, anyway, down here is this. This is a clasped uh, weft project. It's not been wet finished, so it's still got its ends. But as you can see, the colour on the top is the dark blue and the colour on the bottom is the purple. Unless you do it that way, in which case it's the colour on the <laughs> it's the colour on this side. I can't do I can't do directions in the viewfinder because it's flipped and I don't want to make a fool of myself any more than I absolutely have to. So this is a um, uh, mohair not merino a mohair blend and it is quite loopy and I've done that on a sock yarn and you can see there's some sort of pale green highlights I'm not sure how that looks to be honest I'm not sure if I love it but on the other hand I've done a whole scarf so it's a bit late to decide I don't love it the original plan for this because I'll show you the yarn I've got some in my pocket um, benefits of making your own dress you get a pocket so the yarn on the ball looked a bit like that and I thought it was kind of a fluffy chenille type thing, quite a thick chunky yarn. So I got some um, merino in this shade to use as the warp and then when I was winding this on into a cake to um, use, because I wind my yarn into cakes before I use it, I found it's actually quite thin and it's just got these cool loops. So when it is wet finished the loops should fluff up a little bit more. I'm showing it to you really well at the moment. Look at that. Uh, the loops should fluff up a bit more once it's had a bit of a soak. Um, we will see. It's got quite a nice drape already, so that's quite good. And it is quite soft. Uh, so, yes, that is yarn from my aunt's yarn stash. It's discontinued, which is good because I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and I don't know what I did with the labels. Um, I normally put them in the middle of the yarn, but I didn't in this case. So I don't know. I, I cannot help you. But I can tell you it was probably discontinued in the 90s. So don't get your hopes up, maybe. So on the loom at the moment, I have another project already. I'm just that efficient. So we'll go and have a look at that. And then I'll come back out here and say goodbye. One day I'm going to iron this back cloth and then we just won't know who we are anymore. This is what's on the loom currently. As you can see, it is on the loom. Uh, it is Bendigo Wool and Mills Calypso in Saffron. It is a wool and cotton blend. So it is wool with a little bit of a cotton slub. Let me see if I can show you. So you can see the texture there. Unlike most cotton slubs that you can't really use for warp, this actually is just kind of tufted onto the wool. So it is strong enough to use as a warp without losing tension. And I'm trying a technique that I've been meaning to try for a long time, and that is packing. So you can see here and here, I've got extra threads in these two slots on each side. I've got five threads in each one, just to give it a bit of texture on the plain weave. Now, I have a problem. Um, I, have, I have a lot of problems, but the problem that I have with this, <laughs> I'm not going to get into them, it's okay. The problem that I have with this particular project is my maths was so phenomenally dreadful on this project because I had one ball of this that I found while I was looking for something else and thought, oh yes, I wanted to weave that up, I'll do that now, pretty much is my thought process. Um, and I did some maths as to how wide I could make it and how long I could make it. And I could, I've made it as wide as it is and as long as it is, it's quite long. But my maths was so bad, I'm going to run out of it for doing the actual weaving. So I've ordered another ball of this. There's 400 meters to the ball, I think. Um, Bendigo Woolen Mills do big, big, big yarn balls. Um, 
So I have ordered another one, so it depends on when that arrives as to when this gets finished. Hopefully it'll be off the loom for next week, but I can't promise that. But it is a beautiful colour, it's a beautiful texture, and it is so soft, and it's going to be softer once it's wet finished. But before I can wet finish it, I have to finish weaving it. So I'm just going to wave that so you've got something to look at. Um, and that is, as I said, dependent on when Bendigo Woolen Mills actually sends me my order. They're usually pretty, pretty decent. So maybe even by the end of this week, but I'm not holding my breath. And that's all I have for you this week. Um, next week, hopefully, the orange wrap shawl scarf thing will be off the loom. And I can have something else on the loom, which would be exciting because I've got a lot of yarn that I've sorted. It's just got a lot of yarn um, that I've sorted and it's sort of in that general area to where I'm standing now so I'm pointing at it like you can see it um, I've got a lot of yarn that I have sorted into general pattern colorways and combinations so I'm excited to get all of that on the loom unfortunately not all at once because that would be really efficient and quick anyway I have been having persistent PC problems, so I'm going to go and see if the persistent PC problems are behaving themselves. Probably not. And in the event that they are behaving themselves, you will be watching this video. And if they're not, then you won't. Um, anyway, you take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.